We see all these street vendors across the valley, but they are illegal. While the county's working on a pathway for them to become legal, neighbors want a solution now to the biggest problem they see and deal with every day, traffic. They see it and they park off to the side and right in front of the vendor and the traffic jam starts. Street vendors like to set up shop off Cary Road. When customers want to buy, they stop. And they stop in the middle of the road. The problem's far worse on weekends. Charleston, Stewart, and Bonanza, there's usually street vendors. Their customers, they stop right at the corner, creating a traffic jam. As Clark County looks to make street vendors legal, leaders also look to tackle complaints they hear now about crowds on street corners. They're caused by customers, cars, and sometimes carts. We put signs up, they cut down the signs. We put signs back, they knock the signs over. Currently today, we can give illegal parking tickets, cite them for without a business license. We've been out the last few weeks educating folks, at least uh, on the east side. This week, there will be um, some tickets issued. Kirkpatrick says ramping up ticketing is a short-term solution, but she's looking for a long-term solution. Where's a plot of land vendors can go and customers can follow? She says county leaders want to hear from you where that should be. The new state law requires the county to spell out locations on a map. The law also explicitly states vendors are not allowed near stadiums or the strip. It's important that we hear from constituents because they wouldn't be there if constituents weren't buying from them. Uh, two, we want to hear from the industry. What's a safe place for them? So send an email, call your representative, but be sure to address your concerns today. State law says by October, that's when the county has to bend vendors from the resort's corridor and around stadiums. Then the county has to pass another ordinance. That way vendors can get a license. Kirkpatrick says that second ordinance should happen by the end of the year.